Hey, good afternoon. This is Ashley. <clears throat> so I want to go over a couple of things here. I wanted to talk about some services that we offer and talk about what you could be looking for and so on. So to start, I went and Googled pressure washing company in Mount Vernon, Ohio. And I typically what happens is there's a map hack that shows up something similar to this. And there's uh, one or two, maybe three companies that show up underneath the map. But um, in this unique situation, it looks like there's only one company that is showing um, and that's Central Ohio Pressure Wash um, in the area that is actively marketing in your area. And so what I want to kind of show you was um, the, the being able to get into the top three to have some sort of competition um, to get into the map packs area up at the top. Um, and there's ways you can do this. Um, and the first way that you can do that is to first foremost have um, a Google business profile. Um, the second is filling it out as much as possible with the name, the hours, the phone number, photos, just making sure everything's filled out. And the third is putting your business name, address, and phone number into as many online directories as possible. And directories are things like Yelp and Yellow Pages. And having your information in those online directories are really going to help power your profile. And so um, if there were any websites listed below here, this is what's called the organic search. And the same things would apply. Um, you would want to be in the top, you know, two to three listed um, and ideally on the front page so that people could find you. And that's not including, you know, clicking on Thumbtack or anything. I'm, I'm strictly speaking about clicking on it and going straight to the website. Um, so it looks like there's a unique situation here where um, you would really be able to market your business and not have a ton of competition, you know, as a, far as marketing goes. So the main thing that you'd want to do is first and foremost, have an active website. I know you guys have a Facebook page. Um, and so that's, you know, it's a good start. Um, but you want to have an active Facebook page and you want to do what you want to do with that website is you'd want to have about 1500 to 2000 words, um, on the, on the homepage primarily. And this is for a few reasons. And the first reason being is that if your competitors are going to have, about a thousand words on their homepage, then you're going to want to have at least 1500 words because you want to beat out how much content the competitor has. And the second reason is that Google has what we call crawlers. They go through, they read the content of the website and try and figure out what services your business offers, what areas you serve. And the more content you have on the site, the more of an expert you're going to look like in Google's eyes. And then within the content, you want to have keywords and keywords are things that people are searching for. So for example, how I Googled pressure washing company, Mount Vernon, Ohio, if you have that all over that website, it's going to become really relevant for that search. And Google's going to be more willing to put your, that website higher to the top. So when you would look at the website, it's really important to make sure you have enough content on there and the keywords throughout. And that's really going to help a, you know, a website rank. So I, I did type in a central Ohio uh, pressure washing. And I have a paid program that, that I use to put them up there in there just to kind of see what, um, what they're doing and what you'd be up against. And so clicking on that, I wanted to kind of also go over the UR and the DR ratings because they're super important where you fall in the Google search results. And a UR rating is essentially a trust rating with Google and a DR rating is a power rating with Google. And so these numbers are looking at the overall site, how powerful it is, how trustworthy it is. And the higher up these numbers are, um, the more powerful your site is and the better it's going to rank in the search results. And then one of the ways that you can increase those numbers is through what's called a backlink. And all a backlink is, is just a shout out from another website that's endorsing you and they're sending a link back to your site through a clickable text. And then what we can do is we can click on the ones that they have, go through those, get those for your website, and then get additional ones as well. And so lastly, and most importantly, I want to talk about the organic keywords in the content that I mentioned before. So for example, um, clicking on there is just to kind of see what this company is being searched for. Um, I want to focus on the volume column because that's where you're going to see what, you know, how many people are searching for what specific keywords in a month. Okay. So just to kind of pull, pull that up. Um, so power wash Columbus, Ohio, which I know you're, it's relatively close to it's 200 people searching for that. Um, Ohio pressure wash, a hundred people looking for that pressure washers, Columbus, Ohio, a hundred people look for that. Um, Ohio pressure washing 150 people look for that. So it's just kind of give you an idea of what people are looking for in a month. And it's really important to get in front of these people. And if you're able to get in front of more people that are searching for those terms, the more people are going to find you. And then the more people are going to call and in turn, the more business you're going to land. 
So I'm hoping that this information was helpful and I look forward to talking to you and um, just discussing opportunities. So take care and have a great rest of your day.